so it begins here we are it's me dr benji how you doing i hope you're all right if you don't know who i am i've come from twitch tv i'm i'm a very very popular streamer over on that website doing football manager but this is it we're going to be norwich it begins now uh, welcome to canary island this is where we're going to be based at this juncture and this is the team it's looking pretty good right after their recent relegation i thought you know what i'll revive an old dog it's time to really push the boat out i can't wait i'm so excited i've wanted to do fifa fifa videos not a good start football manager videos fifa is an inferior game football manager video i'm keeping it in it's all it's not this is not going to be edited this is fine uh, and this is the save as it is and david mcnally's here look he's loving it this bit is pre-recorded i don't want to feel like i'm cheating you this is just how i'm doing things i'm mixing things up i'm making a change so let's get into some pre-season stuff let's see how that went shall we i'm excited are you so here we are we're in we're locked in the uh, the meeting with the team went very well i told them we'd get promotion they're loving it cardiff came in for whitaker i was thinking no I'm not having that he's a good backup player he plays left and right we're keeping him in the team no dramas whatsoever look at his stats he's very versatile to play nine different situations or different positions is absolutely perfect he's the perfect player in your squad they came back in for him later on in the window uh, i was continuing through pre-season i wasn't buying anyone at this point i didn't think i needed to Sunderland came in for bradley johnson you cannot let a man like bradley johnson go he's actually quite well rounded on this game i was surprised i thought he wouldn't be as good i've not been norwich for some time on this game so it's interesting to go back and have a look and then i had to decide the captaincy which i thought the song might not stick around at the club so we'll get him out um we'll put russell martin as our senior and then johnny house and he did the job at leeds i thought you know what he's got experience in that role we'll bring him in cardiff couldn't get enough of whitaker though the bid was slightly smaller this time uh, and once again sunderland returned with a bid for bradley johnson both rejected i don't want to sell anyone unless i have to and i don't really have to so i'm keeping the squad nice and grounded as it is we went into pre-season pre-season went really well um we'll start with a live com coming up shortly but as I mentioned, pre-season went terrifically, terrifically well. Start off with Braga. They started pretty well. Free kick, banged it in. I was worried. I was thinking, oh, God, this is not going to go well for me, is it? But do not fear. We fought back resiliently. Uh, the first goal was a little bit of a mess, though. That said, a mess is fine if it goes in. And that was Elliot Bennett putting us back into a 1-1. We were back in the game at Carrow Road. We were loving it. The crowd were on their feet. And um, not long after that, Wes Hulahan pops one in from a couple of yards out. And then finally, Garrido scores a free kick of, oh, it's marvellous proportions. Then we went on, then, the next game uh, we played, again at home, a 2-2 against Espanyol. They took the lead, disappointingly, but it wasn't over there. We fought back once again. It was nice to show a bit of res resiliency. Luciano Becchio, who's not really in my first team plans, played in this game, just for a bit of rotation, a bit of squad um, fitness management. Scoring the uh, equaliser, and then Espanyol go through again. Score, John Reddy left out. Actually, was it John Reddy in goal? I'm not sure. You'll know I won't. Um, and then from the corner, Becchio again, I believe it was, popping it in to make it 2-2. So then, we've arrived at the live part of the video. As you can see, we've already played a little bit through pre-season. We beat Bolton, uh, then we beat Millwall. Well, it's the end of the season, aren't we? And then we lost to Fulham, sadly, in our last game. But now we play Middlesbrough, and this is the first game I'm going to show. I will say I've tried to do all the other ones, and I messed it up every time with stupid little errors. But forget it, it's gone. We go again. So if we take a quick look at the squad, I'll give you a little rundown of what's been going on. The squad's looking pretty good, we're fully fit, and this is the team I've been playing the trade with. So if we look at the team instructions, retain possession, exploit the flanks, play narrower. So we keep wide and then we kind of explode, exploiting the flanks. Uh, hassle opponents to win the ball back quickly, pass into space because we've got a lot of pace out wide and drill crosses because Lewis Graben is a fox in the box. We're staying with standard balanced. We're going to see how it goes throughout the season. It'll probably change and kind of evolve as we go through. But that's how we're looking so far. We've got England's number one in goal, John Ruddy. Then a back line of Martin, Bennett, Turner and Olsen. A good championship defence, a very good championship defence, but not a particularly good Premier League defence. So hopefully in this division, they'll prove their worth. Bradley Johnson and Johnny Housen, ex-Leeds boys in the middle for me. Johnny Housen a little bit more athletic, so he's the box-to-box. -box. And the ball-winning midfielder, the tough, so the stern Bradley Johnson. On the wings, Nathan Redmond and Elliot Bennett. I've already mentioned their pace, so they're going to be very useful in this division. And Wes Houlihan creating. In, in these five, he's the creator, with Lewis Graben, the fox in the box up front. So on the bench, we're looking pretty good too. We've got a lot of strength in depth. The only player I'm probably going to actively try and sell before the window closes is Sebastian Bassong. He's on a hefty wage. And despite how good he is, I don't want to have to pay a championship player 35 grand a week. So if we can move him on, 
that would be good and bring in some form of replacement as well and that's how we'll stand there but it's looking good we're, we're despite losing to fulham i'm still feeling relatively optimistic so let's get straight into it shall we let's really enjoy this game Middlesbrough, they're not a bad team. They've been in the championship for a little while. And um, we're currently sitting ninth. They're currently sitting 11th. If we take a quick glance at the league table, you'll see that I've won both my games. They've won one, lost one, drawn one. So they're, they're having an average start to the season where we were having a slightly above average start, but not a great start. That loss of Fulham's hurt us. But here we go into the uh, the Middlesbrough game. They're not, as I mentioned, not a bad side. I hope you like the way I'm doing this. I'm doing it slightly different to YouTubers gone by. It's a little bit different. We're doing a little bit at the start, then we're doing the live version at the end, and it's a little bit of a mix of both. So, best of both worlds, you could say. Let's tell them that I'm feeling calm. Go out there, you're all capable of it. Oh, they've not liked that. So let's give it the work, the space treatment. Let's tell them there's a lot more to come from that. They love it, look. I got this from a popular YouTuber, Work the Space. He's been very helpful. So there we are. <laughs> let's get straight into this. That's another Work the Spaceism. I, pr I promise I won't be a carbon copy. <laughs> You can already tell that. Far better looking. So, here we are then. Norwich nil, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough nil. It's been an action-packed first two minutes. But uh, hopefully we just blend into the game nicely without too much trouble. I've not actively looked for signings. I've thought that if we can keep the squad as it is and try and do as much as we can up until January with it, then in January I can make transfers. I want it to stay kind of as true to what the current squad is as possible as we go close with Nathan Redmond. Oh, no cigar. And then... As I say, in January, then we can improve things if we need an extra striker or a better defender or a solid midfielder. Then we can go out and make that purchase. We've got a little bit of money from the Leroy Fur, the Leroy Fur exit, obviously. And uh, we've got Ricky Van Wolfswinkel out on loan, so he's not in the squad currently. But he's someone we could get back. As Lewis Graben slots it home, 1-0. Good. That's a good live comm start. I enjoy that. That's just what I'm looking for. And that moves us a little bit up into the uh, promotion stakes four games into the season then don't get to above your station oh yes the 3d highlight this is where dreams are made this is like watching match of the day go on grabbing is he gonna score it we know he is we've seen it in the 2d version of this so one nil middlesbrough backs against the walls not had a shot on the target yet but we're looking good oh i do like this whole fm youtuber thing i feel like i can be quite good at it so let's tell you what let's tell you what i'm going to be doing during my time on youtube so on the monday the wednesday and the friday this is the save you're going to see we're going to be on canary island on monday wednesday and fridays on tuesday we're going to do challenge tuesday where i'm going to let you or my stream viewers or my twitter followers decide what i'm going to produce for you it's going to be like a one season thing it might be to get a team to win the champions league or to get a team to win the league or to stay up we're going to look for challenges out there on this year's fm on the uh, updated databases too so if you've got something that you think could be a challenge this season then that may be what I take on. So let's see how that goes. And on Thursday, we're doing a American Network game save. You'll see that on Thursday. I'll say no more. But we're getting into half time. There's not been a lot of highlights, which is absolutely fine with me when we're in the lead. It's going relatively well. So here we are. We're back in it. Uh, keep going out there. They like that. And I like that too. So it's going well. I don't want to change too much. We won't make any substitutions. We might take Hulahan off. He tends to get a little bit tired. Bless him. He's got little legs. That's a, that's a risky little ball. Are we going to score from the uh, the halftime kickoff? It's very rare. Danny Ayala, former Norwich player himself. Hulan keeps the ball alive. You may think Norwich is a little bit of an easy save, but I don't want that to come across as why I'm doing it, because it's easy. I'm doing it because it's my first save. I've got a few connections to Norwich, which I might talk about in the future. And it's something that I just think, I want you to enjoy it. I want it to be entertaining. So if you can go for a promotion push, rather than kind of slumming it and finishing 15th, then that'd be great. And as I say that, Ryan Bennett, who went to school with my girlfriend, has popped in a lovely little header. So that makes it two. And we're cruising now. Absolutely cruising. So I want it to be entertaining, is the point. I'm doing a save to be entertaining. I want it to be enjoyable. I want you to be on board with it. And I think being a team that are going to be in a promotion battle makes it a little bit more exciting. Hopefully, I could screw it up. We could still be relegated. So <laughs> let's not peek too early, Ben. Let's calm, calm your station. I think it's important to say as well, I've got a few things to say, obviously, but I think it's important to say that the reason I can make FM videos and start doing this, and the fact so many of you have subscribed before I even made a video, because I've come from streaming and whatnot, is, is really good for me, and it's really nice that I can start kind of on a bit of a platform already. So I appreciate all those people. If you haven't already, you know where it is. There's a little button up there you can click. 
but I'm really enjoying doing this. I think I owe it to the people that have done this before me to make it possible. Otherwise, to start this kind of thing is very difficult, and that's not what I wanted. So, if you can keep a two nil going, I'm loving this. I might make a quick change actually. Let's mix things around a bit. As I say, Wes Hulahan often struggles, so we'll bring in, we'll stick Graben on the right because he doesn't mind it so much, and we'll stick Cameron Jerome up front, and we'll play Halston struggling a little bit. So we'll bring on David Fox, who can control a game quite nicely. He's not as athletic as Johnny Housen, but his passing stats are particularly good, and he's good on the ball, and that's what we're looking for. So we have 15 minutes to go. I think we'll stay standard balance. There's no need to change it whatsoever. They've not really threatened. I can't remember them having a highlight, actually. So if we can stay as we are, the, high the less highlights, the better. That's how I see it. Okay, but we have one. A throw in deep in our old, kind of on the halfway line. Lewis Graben now playing straight on the right hand side he's quite a good all round player Lewis Graben the fact he can play there is very useful because we don't have a lot of wingers that may be something I look to change in January if needs be and he's on the ball now oh and he's whistled one wide of the post but the fact he's in that position is good news would Elliot Bennett finished it in that situation maybe maybe not as we're coming to a close more highlights oh it does a flourish at the end of the game Ryan Bennett picks it out. Lewis Graben now working the ball forward. Johnson. Bennett now playing his trade in the centre of the pitch. Jerome, we're just keeping the ball. This is nice game management late in the game, but it looks like we may create a chance from it. We're coming forward. That's not going to do it, though. And George Friend knocks it forward. Bradley Johnson, though, that's what he's there for. The steal in the middle of our midfield. Cutting out everything and anything. Russell Martin. Look at this. He's very slow. Oh, that's, that's been saved. That was a highlight, FM. Really? You've made us sit through that? Absolutely no need. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. We've got it straight back. Nathan Redmond. He's played through Lewis Graben. Can he finish it? Oh, I'll tell you what that is. Show me that in 3D. Let me enjoy that for all it's worth. I take it back, FM. Thank you very much for showing me the three minutes of build-up prior to the goal. But it was a stunning goal. Ben Gibson gives it away. Nathan Redmond pops it over to the last defender. Lewis Graben on the volley. Hammers one past Jason Steele. That is a stunning finish from Lewis Graben well I've enjoyed that I think we've all enjoyed that oh David Fox has picked up a knock dear me let's take him off just for the last few minutes of the game I don't want it to be a serious injury so if you get him off the pitch sooner rather than later for Alexander Tetti then that'll be good right he's gone there's no no risk of major injury now hopefully is that going to be game then I think it may well be as the ball's passed around the middle come on there it is Lovely old job. The manager's team to clearly worked a treat. Thank you very much for all magic. And there we have it. That's the first win under our belt on stream. I was on stream. It was going so well. And then I referred to my stream on video. That's what this is. This is the platform we're using. So that leaves us fourth in the table. I will join you again very soon. What game should we go for? We've got Ipswich coming up. So we'll, maybe we'll go for Bournemouth at home. And that's the next time I'll see you. So until that point, maybe Leeds. We'll see how it goes. Uh, until that point, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. It's from me, Dr. Benji. Goodbye.